what is up guys sam from the zan madden youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to give you guys the top 10 tips you can employ to improve overnight at madden 24. these are going to be on both sides of the ball so make sure that you guys are taking notes with this this isn't necessarily going to be anything playbook specific these are all going to be pretty much universal tips so let's go ahead and kick it off with an honorable mention when using a corner streak combo to the wide side of the field, you actually want to use a fade route rather than a streak because it gets a good outside release that helps pull the deep zone, which will make your corner route be open. The fade just pulls better. Corner routes. Obviously, corner routes are great in Madden. On the short side of the field, all you need is a streak and a corner, or you could use a fade in the corner. And it doesn't matter what your route combo is. You can have the outside receiver on the streak and the inside on the corner, or vice versa if you're in a compression. The streak will always pull that outside third, allowing us to throw the corner route on the sideline. This is gonna make your opponent have to play zone drops, which we'll talk about in a little bit. When you go to throw a corner route to the wide side of the field and you're not in a compression, you'll want to use a spread formation. The reason that you want to do that is so that you can use the outside receiver to run off any deep zones. This will help against cover three and cover four in which you're gonna be able to throw the corner route underneath of that outbreaking route for a wide open game. Run defense in Madden has what is called read and react AI. Essentially to know if your defense can read and react against the offensive formation, add the number of defensive linemen plus linebackers and compare it to the number of offensive linemen plus tight ends. If the offensive formation has a higher number, you can run any run call out of that formation against that defense as often as you'd like. If it's even or if the defense has an advantage, you will actually notice that the defense is able to auto run commit to repeat runs without the user having to do so. As a result, the best runs in the game are RPOs. These are read and react AI proof and it doesn't matter what formation you call it out of. So to avoid read and react AI, simply use RPOs. Mabel coverage is one of the most popular coverages in the game. Players are going to use 30 yard flats and five yard curl flats and most likely base out of a dollar style defense or some sort of defense that allows them to basically use multiple sideline zones, but keep a deep half over the top. The left side of the field is what you would call Mabel. When facing Mabel coverage, it's very important that you guys use slot curl routes. These are one of the best routes in the game to be able to beat this coverage because all you need is someone else in the flat, which will allow you to throw that curl route wide open for a gain of 10 to 15 yards. Do not shy away from this route against this coverage. Defense in Madden 24 has a minimum requirement of rushing four players. This means if I choose the big nickel over G and rush four, we will be able to get sheds. You see right here that our D tackle is able to get off of the block and get to the quarterback. But the moment that you decide to make this a three-man rush, Madden will severely penalize you for this and make it so that it's almost impossible to shed without your opponent having bad pocket presence. Notice here how we're going to have all day long. And as long as we don't over move in the pocket, players will not get off their blocks. And even if you really do have decent pocket, they're going to basically not be able to get to you. Pro tip for this, if you do want to rush three, all you have to do is blitz your user and make it so that the green bars appear over their head. This will make it so that the game once again thinks four players are rushing and will allow those guys to shed once again and now you're cooking with grease. Before we get to number five, if you could do me a favor, make sure you guys are subscribed to the Zan Madden YouTube channel, hit that notification bell and drop a comment below. Let me know what type of content you wanna see here on the channel. I'll always keep a look at the comment section and try to take some of the best suggestions for future topics here on the channel. And if you guys are looking for more content and higher level content, check out my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg, where we go into far more detail than we do here on the channel, but there's so much over on the website, well over 170 vault updates at this point when the videos dropped more every single week nine offensive and defensive game plans discord access for our members that are in our community and we have lab sessions in there every single wednesday 
Turbo is the worst thing you can do when you are running the ball with a running back or usering in the open field with your user. This will significantly reduce your turn radius or your change of direction, making your player feel slower or like they're stuck in the mud. I urge you guys to play for a week or so and just tell yourself, don't hold the turbo button unless I'm in the open field and I have to sprint. You'll notice a huge difference. If you're struggling with man coverage, use whip routes. These are far and away the most consistent man beater in the game, and it's really, really tough to stop without shading. You'll see here that these can be nearly free if you use basically a whip to either side of the field. You'll be able to throw this to the outside and get a pretty solid rack animation for big yardage. These are great when mixed up against heavy man because you can really get upfield quite easily with the right animation. Definitely use these against man to man. Do you struggle with corner routes? Of course you do, we all do. These are one of the most commonly thrown routes in the game and so many players run them because it is a staple pattern. Spread, compression, trips, bunch, it does not matter. But shading your man coverage against corner routes is so valuable, but it's not as simple as in or out. In fact, what you want to do with a corner route is shade your coverage down and then shade the route outside. If you do bi-directional shading, you can almost get away with the lowest of low man coverage players shading correctly on the route and not giving up the separation. This can lead to more swats and interceptions against players that rely solely on this route and don't know how to adjust. Man coverage isn't the only way to defend a corner route. Shading is tough and it takes a couple different adjustments pre-snap to do that, so that's time spent at the line of scrimmage. The 30-yard flat zone is something that you can use in any defense in the game, but one thing you will need to make sure you're aware of is that when you have those 30-yard flats, you will want to back up those zones. Otherwise, they drop too slow to get underneath that corner route that so many players like to spam. If you use the 30 yard zone drop setting, your player will be in a perfect spot to swat or intercept the ball. I would highly recommend that you have an interception ability such as pick artist or lurk artist on your corner to make sure that those are intercepted. And last but not least, resetting your zone drops. So many players do not know how important being able to reset your zone drops are. Sometimes you're afraid of a corner and then your opponent audibles out and you no longer want that 30 yard setting. The simple act of resetting your play by hitting X or square depending on your console and then the left trigger or l2 depending on your console will reset your zone drops to revert your coverage into a standard zone drop depth you'll see here that our cloud flat no longer is dropping to 30 in this the corner route was open but this is how you reset your zone drops i hope you guys enjoyed today's video breaking down 11 easy tips to help you guys improve overnight. These are things you can apply to any offense or any defense in the game to help you get more scores and more stops. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Ann. Get in the lab, and Good luck.